Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how we've discovered shorts buying Ape at $722, how they have not covered, and UBS buying into AMC and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the end. Now, straight away, we're taking a look at this. What we had this is from Brad, who talks about what is Ape doing? 193.56 in after hours. So we can see here right now that for Ape AMC Entertainment, we're seeing that after hours it was trading at 190. 93.56 dollars now this wasn't the end of it if we see further on it then later on was trading for 721.6 dollars per share of ape now we've talked about this in the past how ape whilst it should be delisted it shouldn't be trading we've still seen it on the european market still being able to be traded what we also noticed was the cost of borrow for ape was still existing and changing just of yesterday the cost of borrow for ape was actually increasing and you can see the budget of all saying this one way the ape can still be trading institutionally for settlement of the amc conversion is via substitution securities exemption the ape share price is being displayed on weeble even though it's being delisted a glitch is allowing us to see the price for delisted securities Ape price is significantly higher than the rest hundred dollars of higher ibk are showing an increased cost to borrow on the listed ape now credit thank, uh, credit the following think tank and x members for the fine we're piecing it together now as always the ape community is strong and we're finding out information like this and already what we can see right now is again it's just another reflection of what shorts are willing to be paying for amc what how much they're willing to be paying for shares amc could is trading right now at four dollars and 38 but why are they then willing to be buying apes at 721.6 and again it started with 193.56 what we can see with these two pictures is firstly a scarcity of of course ape shares but also the desperation of the need for ape shares as well and again if you need ape shares it means you need amc shares and what we can see is firstly they need the ape shares because of the conversion into amc and again we've talked about with the exemption and we see how they wanted that 193.56 but later on they're still willing to be buying again at 721 you have to understand there is a massive gap between 190 dollars and 720 and for it to go to 720 it means that they were willing to to be buying along the way so we know firstly we understand how much they're willing to be paying for again what would you do if you would see amc be selling at 700 tomorrow would you guys actually sell or would you guys continue holding but also is to understand right now is that shorts are in need of amc shares and again they are in need of shares at a very high price they're willing to be paying at a high price as well most likely is that the shares of ape being bought right now is obviously from institutions to institutions and again we've always known this hedge funds don't want retail to profit and that's why they rather spend $700 and buy it off institutions rather than $500 to buy it off retail but what we have to understand is that there is only a limited supply it will come to a time where it wouldn't suffice them anymore they need to buy a real amc shares of us and we won't definitely be selling at $700 we'll be obviously making them pay a much higher price for it you know what we can see from this is them shorts covered trust me bro data no no they haven't understand even adjusting for dilution this is like 220 million dollar pre-reverse split an insane amount or as aa once said we are aware of sizable short positions to say nothing of tokens derivatives etc yet i'm not leaving so what we have to understand is that we have to differentiate between shorts covering fully of their shares and are out of this trap they've created for themselves or shorts buying and covering small amounts what we've seen again a reflection of this picture is that if they're buying into abe and they can converting it into AMC and then they're covering shorts yes they have covered but what we have to understand is if you think that they have covered and that the shorts are no longer in the trap and that the squeeze won't happen that is not the case if they're still willing to be paying $700 right now it means that firstly they haven't been out they haven't covered all of their shorts uh, even until now but the fact they're still willing to be paying $700 means that again they are still in this play and that's why for those of you saying that shorts have fully covered that is not the case because if shorts were to have fully covered they would have to cover billions of shares but differentiate that with shorts are seeing weaknesses shorts are not able to continue with financing some of the short positions and have covered some amount of shorts that is something that is obviously true but to talk about you know the arguments where people make is that the play is no longer alive the squeeze is not alive for amc because the shorts have covered and have left that is not the case and again this isn't 
you know something that have been proven but uh, in terms of how they've covered but there's been many data just like what we've seen today this is the most recent in terms of showing how shorts have not actually covered otherwise they wouldn't be paying 721 dollars for ape but also just like retail stock i said here you know to say nothing of tokens to say nothing of derivatives and again that's what we have to differentiate between you know covering a small amount of shorts because they need capital because they are not able to finance it or you know covering all of the short positions they've took to talk about the naked shorts the synthetic shorts and even just again the 30.2 million shares that we've talked about here in the past also what we can see is Holy shit, Norges Bank, Norway Central Bank loads up on AMC, as does UBS and Wealthfront Advisors. Also, Citigroup sold mostly all their shares, calls, and almost half their puts. They kept a large put position and small 13k share hedge. City has much less to lend out now. Now, this is obviously a very interesting take. The two I want to be talking about is obviously UBS and Citigroup. Now, it seems like the two short se sellers of AMC are on two ends of the spectrum here. Because what we understand is that UBS is someone who's being affected by AMC. Now, they're not someone who obviously actively took on shorts of AMC. They inherited the massive short position obviously from credit swiss so now we are affiliating them with a short set of amc city group is someone who again actually shorted amc off their own and again created synthetics of amc in brazil and so you know again these are two massive short sellers of amc because again we know about what happened with credit swiss because of the toxic swaps of amc and gme and now what we're seeing is that again one short seller is actually buying and loading up on amc because what we talked about in the past is that they they know how toxic and unhealthy the short position of AMC is and again what it has done to companies like Arcagos done to companies like Credit Suisse and so UBS is trying to take obviously a different approach by buying into AMC what we've seen with Citigroup Group right now is that it seems like they want to double down on suppressing AMC by obviously selling their shares and obviously not supporting it and again um, putting a large put position and a 13k hedge so the hedge is obviously still potentially trying to protect them what we have to understand is that with them selling their shares they have less to lend out now but also you know just understanding that it seemingly looks like they want to take a different approach now as of before we're still seeing institutions buying in we're still seeing shorts buying into amc but it does seem like city group may want to take a different approach i am curious to what they want to do because again they are someone who definitely will be affected when amc squeeze but it's interesting and also um unclear right now to why they're obviously selling these shares and not buying as opposed to what other short sellers are doing with AMC. Furthermore, you know, what we can see right now is with AMC right now up, what we see with ending the week up 7.09%, you can see that we are seeing an article right now saying AMC stock oversold reversal confirmed ready to join the trade. So following the most substantial rally since August of last year in recent trading sessions, is it now opportune to take a bullish position in AMC? So what we're seeing right now is different from what we do see normally. And what we're seeing is obviously the a bullish and positive article about amc obviously understanding that again it's making a reversal now what i do want to say is that when you see articles like this again because of what they've done in the past i take it with a massive grain of salt just like you should with you know um everything that you take as always now this is ever financial advice do take as a grain of salt make sure you do your own due diligence and research but what the reason why i say this is because what we have to see here is the fact that right now you know you have to understand amc obviously being bullish is because of the fact that retail investors are not selling and are buying the reason why it's bullish is because they're not suppressing amc and that isn't from the sentiment of amc changing from bearish to bullish the sentiment on amc whether it's with retail or institution has been for a very long time at least for retail investors for bullish sentiment and again when we see the fact that it's going uh, in a bullish direction that's because that's something that always should have happened the price falling of amc isn't because investors are selling we know that with obv we know that with you know surveys we know that with many different reasons and the reason why amc is dropping is because people are suppressing people are manipulating and people are dumping and over leveraging their short positions 
on AMC and that's why we're seeing it fall. And so, you know, that's why we see articles like this. Make sure you take a grain of salt, but it is interesting to finally see a positive take on AMC. And, you know, again, encouraging investors to buy, whether that's to scare them and then make them sell and make the price dump and, and tank, you know, that's a different story. But like I said, always make sure to do your own due diligence. And finally, you know, to end it off with what we talked about is the reverse repo, obviously at 569 billion. What we're seeing right now is that without throughout this week, the reverse repo to be actually increasing now it is not a massive amount the overall is the reverse repo still dropping but again slight increase but you know nothing to be worrying about and again the overall movement is that the reverse repo is dropping anyway guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time